Welcome to the Apps Under License channel. I'm your host, Jeff Bittner. In a ton of these videos, I've mentioned Canva because I use it almost every single day. And so as an avid Canva user, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna pull up my screen. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks that I've learned that you can use to make Canva one of the best and easiest tools in your tool belt. I'm gonna go over everything. I'm gonna go over templates, how to add elements. I'm gonna do the white border around a photo of yourself. And I'm also gonna show you a tip and trick to save you a ton of time in Canva. This is one of the things that I think most new Canva users struggle with is spending a bunch of time tweaking things. So before we get started, if you enjoyed this video at all, consider giving it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And if you like these tech tutorials, drop a comment below and we'll continue to do them. So let's get started. Okay, let's jump into Canva. What I'm gonna go over first is just the very basics of Canva because when you understand these, everything you do in Canva becomes a little bit easier. So my first recommendation is always use a template when you can. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna pick a just listed template. Now I'm gonna end up deleting this just cause I wanna again, talk through the basics, but picking a template so that you can actually see, hey, here are some just listed social media type templates that you can rely on is a really powerful thing. Now, before we actually use this, I'm gonna delete it because the very basics of Canva and why I love it and end up using it every single day is it is really easy to add our own images in here. So in real estate, we might have listing photos. We might have photos that we've taken for a buyer. We might have photos of a community uploading those images and utilizing those in your design become really easy. We just upload them, drag and drop, and then you can drag them into your image. And you can make these bigger, you can make them smaller, you can move them around. There are a lot of things that you can do with these. Now, just with an image, I want to point out one or two things. So again, we can resize by utilizing the drag and drop feature in the corner. And as we move things around, you should start to see these lines pop up. And the lines are really helpful in kind of telling you where your element or image is in the grand scheme of things. So if I skew it over to the right, we don't see any lines, but then as soon as I pop this thing into the middle, it kind of pops in the middle and gives me a line. Here we go. And so now we know this image is centered. Now I can move it down and I can center it with the other line as well and drag it and leaving it here. So adding images is really powerful. Make sure you're mindful of those lines so that you know where things go. But the images themselves are fantastic if we want to add our logos, right, to our photos, we can come in here and we can add logos. We can also utilize the text feature to add our contact info. So contact info, contact information. Now, one thing you should always be mindful of, right, and, and understand in Canva is that almost anything you can change the color of. So I just went in here and I added some text. We can come in here and we can change the color of that text. I can make it purple or blue or orange or yellow or whatever that looks like. So let's jump back to a template because it's important to understand that with the templates, we can actually change what they look like as well. So I'm going to delete all this and let's come back in here and let's add one of these templates. Again, templates are so powerful because they take away a lot of the legwork of what looks good. And so if, as long as you like the design of something, just know that you can come in here and you can adjust it. So let's say I want to make this pink. I can come in here and I can select these things. I can click the color wheel up at the top left and we can decide what this looks like. Now, we can always add our own colors as well. So let's say I wanted to make this pink, but then I wanna come in here. It tells me the pink I'm on, but maybe I wanna make it a little bit lighter. We can do that. Or maybe I wanna make it a little bit more pink. <laughs> we can do that as well. So adding and adjusting colors is super easy in Canva and one of the reasons that I use it a ton. Now, in this template, you will see this image here. Now, what's nice about templates is again, you can upload your own image and pop whatever image you want into here and you can make this your own. So when you see those frames or you see other images, it becomes really nice and easy to use. Now, anytime you upload one of these images, you can adjust it as well. Again, so just come up here to crop and you can adjust what this looks like. Now it needs to at least be this big, but let's say I wanted to focus on the part on the right hand side of the house. We can do that by clicking the crop button and adjusting the size and clicking done. And now this photo looks like it's aligned, it's focused, and it's just a little bit better. So utilize the crop feature up here in the top right. 
Now let's talk about some of the other basics of just moving stuff around. There's a few things that you should be mindful of. Now in Canva, you can use the drag and drop feature to select more than one element. Okay, so that's important to understand. And what you can do when you select more than one element is you can actually move them all around in conjunction. So I've here selected the whole image and I can move all of this around if that's something that you want to do. Now, I can just select a few elements like this photo and this text and I can just move those items around if I choose to. So use the drag and drop feature. Now, one thing that's always important to think about with Canva and any image design tool is your photo has layers, right? This text is floating above this background square. And those are the layers, right? This layer is above this layer. So if you need to adjust where your element is in the layers that is your image, just come up here to position. So I'm gonna select this text and I'm gonna come up here to position and we can move this back and we can move it forward. Okay, let's jump into shapes and transparency. So over here in the element section, just know that there are a ton of elements. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, depending on if you have the pro account or not. And you can add a lot of these to your image. So we can come in here and we can add a Coca-Cola can. Um, we can add a burger. We can do a search up here. So we can do for sale and we can add a for sale sign. Now, one of the things that people don't look to always, but I love as a design element are the actual shapes. So let me take away uh, those items here and we'll remove those. But the shapes are underutilized, but a great way to add a design feature to your image. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add this shape and I'm going to cover up our house image. Now you might say, Jeff, why are you doing that? Well, another feature people don't always look to is the transparency. So most of these elements have the ability to be less or more transparent. And so right now the transparency of this shape is at 100, but we can move this down and make it less transparent. And what's really nice about adding a shape over an image and adding a color to it and making it less transparent is we can add a certain element to this, right? So if I can come in here and I can make it black, it gives it kind of a luxury type vibe. This is also great if you wanna add your contact info. So let's say you just have an image of the house, you can add a shape, make it transparent. And if you wanna come in here and add your contact info, it becomes a great way to make it so that text pops. Come in here and make this Jeffrey Bittner and make this white. There are a couple things that I get asked all the time when I talk about Canva on my YouTube channel. One is removing a background. You know, we see it a ton with YouTube videos and you might need to actually remove a background for your real estate video. And with the Canva Pro version, that is really simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take an image and we're gonna add it here in the middle. Again, you have to be a Canva Pro user. I'm gonna click edit image and I'm gonna go to the recently used, I use it all the time. We can also search for background remover and select it here. And I love the background remover because you don't ever know when you might need to remove the background on an image of yourself or an image of the house. And this feature just makes it really, really, really easy, right? And in let's say you've gone in here and removed the background, and you need to adjust what was removed. You can come in here and you can select the brush up here in the top left, and you can remove some elements, or you can restore some elements even more. So I like the way this image has popped. I'm gonna click done, and now we have our image, and I'm actually gonna remove some stuff here so we can actually see this. Now we have our image with the background removed. Now, the other thing I get asked about a ton is how do you add the white borders around your face or again, an image? And that is also really easy in the edit image section. And so instead of doing the background remove, we're gonna go here to shadows and we're going to add a glow. Now, as with a lot of these elements, you'll see here you have a ton of different options. So you're gonna have to play around with what makes sense for you and what you want your image to look like. But I use the glow feature a ton because I wanna add some pop to my image. Now, if we do just glow, you'll see here it's got the black kind of glow. We can come in here up at the top left where we selected glow and actually adjust what these settings are. So let's say I want to make it white. I want to reduce the blur, increase the transparency, and increase the size. Now we have a thick white border around our image with the background removed. 
really helpful if you're creating YouTube thumbnails or social media posts, or again, you've removed the background on your face or a property photo. Now, there are two time-saving features that I think are really beneficial that I use all the time and I save myself a ton of time. The first one is duplicate page. Once you've created a template that you like and you have an image that you like, too often people go in and they try and recreate it every single time. They pick the template, they adjust the colors. You don't have to do that. If you keep your designs organized and you keep them all in the same design table here, you can come in here and you can duplicate page with this little button at the top of your design, duplicate it and just change one element. So watch how easy this is. I'm gonna click duplicate and let's say I wanna change the background color. We can do that really easy. Let's say we want to change the text, just sold. We can do that. And now that we've changed this one, we can duplicate this one or we can duplicate the top one. And so you can see here how it becomes really easy once you have a design that you like for your business to come in here and duplicate and add as much as you want, right? Well, there's a picture of a sock. <laughs> so you have a ton of options. So use the duplicate page feature to save yourself a ton of time. This is great for new listings when you go under escrow for different social media posts that you do. Now, let's say you've designed all these and you have five or 10 images that are perfect for social media, but guess what? You wanna add it to your story or create some other type of design. Canva Pro has this figured out with their resize feature. All you have to do is you have a Canva Pro plan, come up here to resize, choose what you want to create. So I wanna create a Facebook story and we can select one, we can select uh, multiple, <laughs> we can do Facebook story, we can do YouTube cover art, and we can select these and we can copy and resize these. So as soon as I click this, four new tabs with four new designs are going to pop up with all of the elements from that first design. Really, really powerful. Now, do these need some tweaking? Yes, but all of the elements are there. So with this and my story, I can probably post this to my story pretty quickly, or I can make a few adjustments, adjust the sizing on some things, and pretty shortly after, I'm gonna be ready to go. So utilize the resize feature, utilize the duplicate page so that you can keep the same style and pop out new images really quickly. Okay, everyone, these are my tips for using Canva. If you enjoyed this style of video, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do other tech style trainings, I'm happy to do that. Drop a comment below on what tech you want me to go over and we'll do that in an upcoming video. Thanks so much, everybody. See you on the next one.